Okay, guys, uh, you may have heard the uh, uh, wipers uh, vulnerabilities and uh, all the trouble it has caused. Uh, for example, uh, this one I exploit on JPEG D69. And in the next uh, few minutes, I'm going to walk you through like how to uh, filter all the opportunities, uh, especially all these arbitrary opportunities created by this hacking. Like, for example, uh, we already seen the uh, the tweet has been sent out by pack shell and we can see that this one is actually the uh, the attack transaction here's the attack trans transactions uh, page on Ether scan now I already installed uh, installed the uh, eigen TX Chrome extension here so you can just click the load transfer flowchart you can see actually what's really going on in this transaction and uh, while we are waiting for the token flow chart shown here, we can also click the uh, uh, click to click the link here and uh, visit the page on eigenfi.l. Okay, now we can see all these trans transfers in this uh, attack on uh, Ether Scans page. It's pretty straightforward. Now, if you want to dig more, like for example, uh, find out what kind of uh, MEV opportunities created by this hacking, uh, like the one, the biggest upcharge of last year. Uh, which is a, a background. Uh, the profit is about $3.2 million. Uh, if you want to find out that kind of opportunities, you need some tools that can show the uh, relationships, show the affiliations between all these kinds of uh, transactions, which is uh, one of the special specialties of uh, IGNTX. Now, let me walk you through the process. Okay, now you can click open in Then it will direct you to this page. You can see the same token flow chart here. But the most important thing is like you can also um, click the uh, transactions for block. Uh, the block is 1780506056. Uh, now you can see that the attack transaction is actually the first, first transaction in this block. And the most amazing thing is like you can see the second transaction on position one of this block is an arbitrage. Okay. And then we can like click the link and check out the uh, token flow of this arbitrage. Now we can see like uh, so this arbitrage has generated profit of uh, almost three million dollars. Right? Sorry, uh, almost three hundred k. The cost is almost is also like uh, almost three hundred k. So the revenue is about uh five hundred and ninety two k US dollars. Okay. Um. So you, you might want to see like what's really going on here. You can just click view on Eigen TX. Then you can see the uh, token flow here, like step by step. You can go through them step by step. Okay. And uh, you can just click the transactions for block. You can see actually, so this is like the same page, right? We already shown you like it's on here. So the second uh, transaction on this page is the background. And uh, you may want to figure out like, for example, like, uh, all these uh, front address and to address of this transaction. So the front address is actually uh, the EOA address of the searcher who's been initiating uh, this arbitrage. So you can just click transaction uh, transactions involving from. Then you can see like all the uh, arbitrages and all the other transactions has been uh, initiated by this uh, EOA address. Okay, so. On the beginning is like uh, uh, July the 17th, right? But it's, we can just uh, scroll down. So you can see all the transaction actually started today, right? And uh, so the, this one is the one we already seen, the one has generated like 592K uh, revenue. Okay, we can see if there's any more. So let's click more. Okay, there's no more data, which means that, so this EOA has like initiate like one, two, three, uh, six object transactions like uh, uh, since the uh, the vulnerabilities that they showed up. Okay, um, also you can see in this list, you can actually see a lot of information, like for example, transaction hash and the method and the labels, as it's arbitrage, all the tokens involved in these arbitrages and all these pools. And you can just uh, check out all these pools, maybe if you click the icon. And you can see the date, uh, the block number, the date, uh, the front address, of course, is the same, right? And uh, and there is two addresses, the uh, uh, the, the contract or the boat, right? 
and here's the gas fee. And then you can see that it, uh, the one we talked about is actually pay the builder like 157.7 ETH. Uh, you might want to find out like how many arbitrage has been done by the same boat, so by the same contract, right? You can just click like transactions uh, involving two and you're gonna see a lot of arbitrage has been done by this boat, right? Okay, so the one has been highlighted, so it's the same uh, arbitrage. Uh, all these arbitrage, uh, you can sort of scroll down here, you can see all the arbitrages has been initiated by this uh, boat, has been done by this boat, right? 0x7d3, right? So it's the same boat, same contract. And but it was uh, it was involved by different like uh, different EOAs, like for example this one is a different one. We can see all these like all the counties is like 80 uh, arbitrages here. And you can see all the information here, like what kind of token involved, and also pools, and the, the gas fees and the builder payment. All this information can be found on EigenTX. And you can scroll down to the, the latest uh, arbitrage. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's more coming, right? Okay. Um, yeah, since the, uh, if all this code of the of those involved the protocols, if the, they don't do any patching on their code on, or on the Viper contract, so they're gonna be like, uh, get affected by this uh, hacking or this kind of arbitrage hacking. It's coming all the way down here. Okay, all right. Um, so these are very simple ways to show like how to explore all kinds of uh, arbitrage opportunities because of this uh, vulnerability. So if you find find out more data, I'm gonna we're gonna do more video like this. Okay, thank you.